Hello everyone. Me and Rob, the geocache and muggle, are meeting up. We're parking here at a local fire company outside Bowmanstown. We're in East Penn Township. We're going to leave his car here. We're going to take the truck and we're going to head over on state game lands. It looks like it's going to be a dirt road. So we figure we'll take the truck back to park in. And then there's a trail down here. There's a trail down here along the cornfield. Let's take a look at that. All right, this is a trail that I think we're going to be coming out on. Um, the trail is supposed to come to the fire company. It's eventually going to be a well manicured trail. But for right now, it's grass. It looks like it's kept up. I can see through pretty good. Doesn't look like the grass is tall at all. A little bit of mud here, but yeah, this goes all the way through. So it's gonna be part of the DNL. Eventually, well, it's not part of the DNL. It's a it's a different trail that's eventually gonna connect to the DNL. And I guess they're gonna do the same thing they do. They're gonna put the crushed stones and everything down. We're next to the cornfield, but we got a lot of caches down this way. But instead of going from one to twelve, we're gonna drive to the other end. And we're going to park, and then we're going to go 12 to 1. And we already have that. This is going to be fun. Backward day. Well, we'll see you when we get to state game land. Okay. We changed plans up a little bit. We got to the state game lands. We drove all the way back to the parking lot. And as you can kind of see, it's a one-lane road. Uh, good thing we decided to bring the truck back here because uh, Rob's little geomobile that he brought today is not going to make it. So after we're done walking the trail, he's going to drop me off. And I still have a half mile or so to walk back to the car. But there's geocaches right alongside this road. There's four of them before parking. I was hoping to be able to pull off near the end of them, but I can't. So since this is a since I know there's nobody coming that way, and there's only one other way in, I figured, you know what? Let's quick grab them. We'll back the car up and cheat. And then, like I said, when we're done, I'm going to have to come in and walk back to my car because he won't be able to drive me back to it. Now, we found our container. Got a little soda top there. Somebody made a wooden hockey puck. Vegas Golden Knights sticker or laminated paper they printed out. That's what it kind of looks like. We're going to bring you three locations today. This isn't hanging. We don't got to do a difficulty of terrain. Here comes your close-ups of three locations. It won't be that hard. Right off the side of the road. See something different? Nothing here. Nothing here. Just like I told Rob. As soon as they put the markers down, somebody's going to want to come through. And what happened? I filmed the container, and then a car comes. So I backed down. I backed down the road. I pulled off on the side where I, where I could. Says no parking, but I'm there. I'm not going to be staying there long. I just pulled off there because we needed to walk back and I didn't want to come from parking. So, when you come to this cache, if that state game land sign stays and Mother Nature doesn't take it away, you're going to see a couple locations. Here's two right here and then number one's over there. Now, let's show you the close-ups. All right, from the side of the road, do you walk over here to number one, which is by the rock? You come over and down inside the rock on top of another smaller one, you'll find your container. Or will you find this down here near two and three? Which one's correct? Go. All right, from the side of the road, two or three. Two and three are close to each other. So, are you going to find this cache maybe 
and location number two right there under the root or could this possibly be over here in number three could you find it there hmm well let's show you the elimination we showed you the three walk-ups now location one location two location three two and three are pretty close they're both under a root and location one's under a rock almost kind of making this a here or there is it here under a rock is it there under roots but we did numbers instead why because we got away from it too much that's why um just recently you've seen a lot of difficulty in terrain because everything was tied to a tree so I want to bring you something original of what I started out doing. Well, leave a comment. One, two, or three. One, two, or three. And we'll let Robbie get rid of one. Aww. Two. Two? All right. Two is out. Now, one or three. 50-50. Hopefully you left your comment. And when you're done watching the video, swing over to YouGotAFriendInPA.com for all your daily Geosense challenge needs and all your information for the monthly giveaway. Check out YouGotAFriendInPA.com. And now, the winning location on where you're going to find... Car came by again, so I put everything away. Winning location where this is is over here behind Scott. Number one. Yes. Let's put it back. So there is a rock. There's a little opening. And let's put this in the right the way I found it. Just like that. Alright. Our day is gonna continue. All right, folks, so far, our interesting start of this trail for a Labor Day Sunday afternoon. So we're on Labor Day weekend when we're filming, the Sunday before Labor Day, and uh, it was a little interesting start. Hopefully, the rest of them go a little bit smoother. I do have to move the truck one more time, but we're going to get a couple caches in between. Those, you will see. There's 12 of them here, so the next 11 days are all going to be geocaches from the same trail mm -hmm. here in East Penn Township. But for today, we are done. Unless we sneak a challenge video in there somewhere, giveaway. Yeah, that's pretty good. We'll I mean, see what happens. Because it's October already, right? Yep. So, yeah. Should be. I know we're filming Labor Day, but I think I this video is going to come out in October. All right, folks, happy trails, happy cashing, and go get a smiley. By the time you see this, the Golden Knights might, might have won the cup because they're in the, the final round before the Stanley Cup. So. Nice. See ya. Nice.